Alright, hi. Um, continuing the Haynes Welding Manual, for Chapter 4, Arc Welding. Chapter 4, Arc Welding. One of the oldest forms of welding is arc and stick welding. It is um, versatility, um, strength, and ability to handle big in the project with the thick material of the introduction. The equipment can be purchased expensively or some of the expensive the arc welding machines. The most common the AC of the current machine that you will do fine. Home and shop are using during standard project repairs. If you are thoroughly read Chapter 2, you should have a good understanding of the various kinds of the welding equipment and the type of the are capable. If you think of the arc welding serve that you need, then Chapter will give you the basic introduction. Equipment procedures involved will shop with the machine. You may see them refer to the shield metal arc welding welders. Where the technical um, de description process stands for the shield metal arc welding, the best yet to rugged art machines available today. Well, the equipment store nation major nation way to start, such as the Sears, and Montgomery Ward. <coughs> <coughs> And their mail, uh, mail order catalogs can sometimes be found with a good save in the larger lumber home supply center, but they carry a lot of power. The tools, more start units are solid with a complete setup that in, in include the welding gloves, the helmet, the clipping helm, um, hammer, the sample, the electrodes, basic instruction book, and other than you can assemble the welding rods that they were easy, uh, that were light and literally easy, uh, else, that were little else you'll have to either buy and continue arc welding. All right, four and one. Arc welding will always be um, we be with us the best welding method. To join heavy plate for the commercial farming and industrial work with the welder require the considerable protection from the spider radi radiation. Usually wearing heavy leather and protective gloves. Um, Three, four, four, two. That, um, for home and farm, Cumin is like, um, Lincoln Twenty Five with the classic AC Bob's box welder have been in production, but the barrels will be unchanged. Um, and for decades, most home shops the units the AC unit that they require that some of the wiring automatically accommodating what they require to two hundred twenty volt. 243, another AC 220 volt welding machine is not industrial. You put the Miller, Thunder, Miller, Miller Thunderbolt 225 with the crank crane over the top channel and just the output with the amperage with the reed, the scale on the top left of the front panel. All right, you can find arc, ma arc machines and price less than $200 professionally used, costing several thousand depending on the feature. But the most found home shop with the project with the farm repair for the Columbia form with the machines, the lower price end with the spectrum. There are really no movement involved with the machine, read, but most of the name brand equipment is rough enough to last for more many years of the service. Large machines are certain to have any of the application professional shop used to only such high amperage AC, DC, switching higher duty. duty, duty Duty cycle. The principle of arc welding is attached to the ground cable with the working piece set of the work machine with the curve. Um, um, ground cable is with the work piece set of the machine with the correct amperage based on the thickness of the material and consumable electro electrode welding rod with the electro holder with the helmet is down with the strike with the rod against the water work, work start with the flow center. Flow current, the arc and the prior procedure is intense with the heat with the light with the well shield seam together with the welding thick, um, thick materials. Requires more heat with the former higher amperage with the machine. The basic amp machine with the entrance of the general have the amperage of the range of 40 to 225 degrees amp. The arc process is best suited for the thicker material that you will probably never need with the machine. At the higher setting of the, the thick with, with, with welding material, one thick inch thick, you will most likely never encounter the, your home shop when you're repairing larger casting of the seam and then completed all one bead, big late bead. Requires are several paths with overlapping beads in the total and totally enjoying parts. At the same time, you will probably never need to use an AC welder with the lowest setting of the material thin and thinner than one eighth of an inch thick. Uh, there are other welding processes most suitable, such as gas helicor and MIG welding. Most of the common basic welding performed by the AC arc welding machines done in 90 to 125 amps on material from one eighth of an inch thick to three eighths of an inch thick, sometimes a half inch thick. All right, four or four. The layout of the arc welding setup, the simplicity it's in the, uh, itself. The rod, also called the stick or the stinger, uh, stinger or electrode, is both source of the arc and the shield gas produced. Uh, uh, this one, the, the source of the arc and the shield gas are produced as the rod melts, as in the flexing c c coating. Or you have your welding machine. You have the electro lead and to the electro holder, the cover, the electrode, and to the and your work ground to the grounded to the work. All right, comparing duty cycle. What, what would you like with it? Look at in the arc machine, but therefore the highest amperage of the office the duty cycle the 90 to 125 per amp. The range most often we discuss the duty cycle in chapter two, but bear with the repeat and the brief with all electrical welding machines have the duty cycle rating refers to how long they can weld the specified output without overheating the duty cycle that describes the percentage of the machine has an 100% duty cycle. That means they can be operated virtually all day except with the stop of the chain with the electrode percentage actually based on the 10 minute period of testing, meaning if the duty cycle was 50% of the machine, the can be used only five minutes out of ten. You can only what well, you can weld. You can weld, not stop for five minutes, then rest of the machine for the five before starting again. 
The duty cycle will compete for the first time. The IRF will be about the difference. Um, com companies make the type of the doublest rate for different amperage of setting, but the higher amperage you weld, the thicker material, the less of the duty cycle there will be. The, obviously, the machine will overheat quicker than higher amperages. Oh, one of the every machine range of the amperes of the probably point with the duty cycle to 100% with the specified machine that will um, have the 50% duty cycle to the highest setting, yet yeah, 100% rating the mid-range setting that they use most of the important shop of the welding to find out that what the ratings of the, are the high range of the mid-range and large professional machine that is designated with welding shop production line for work with the duty cycle that must be 100% for the each of the situation. These machines have to be built with much more expensive with the components than receive the um, capacity. Some of the duty arc, uh, duty cycling um, rating comparison with the academic, uh, maybe academic for the average home shop. The, or use the, it only seems to be the weld or in material lowers heat setting. Most machines will be fine for the purpose. There is no reason to spend many times more than the machine to get a higher rate, duty rating. The typical home farm of the Purdue projects um, say that you're welding together steel tube thing maybe and make a utility trailer set up with the work done and takes about half of the more than time in the way. Each weld um, joint becomes a um, piece of the tube and make only two, one or two minutes for the actual welding. They make it to the four minutes but they're no longer than set up a clamp at the next joint. Flip them work over the before you're ready to make it another weld. This point is that the for the example the welding machine at 40% degree duty cycle to the amperage of where you were um, would be perfectly adequate but the job would be find yourself a slow down with the job and because you will help weld the weight of the machine capped cap, cap up and catch up with the, um, however there's something in the BGU for the heavy, heavy set having some of the duty cycle confusion cushion as you would consider with the two machines same price range for the feature of the sim where you would take one of the higher duty cycle the in heat would be used and often used generally the machine is higher than duty cycle with the mid ramp range midpoint amp range and will use the higher ratings than the other settings AC, DC, or both. Um, most of the um, basic machines stick welding AC, DC, AC powered readers maybe have taken the electricity ground for the high school physical state classes. AC refers to the alternate current current. This is where we have our houses, business, business, and our power lines. DC designates direct current, which is most commonly daily used with the 12 volt system in our cars. When electricity has been when electricity has been um, for being for used in the 1890s, the Thomas Edison also genuine for the uh, genuine gen is also he is for all his genius and other specific regards for incons insistent of the DC current being standard for the home lighting and any other use. Unfortunately, DC current is impractical to send in, in, in any long distance through wires. In the DC, every, every, every neighborhood would have to have their own power plant. The billion Nikola Tesla, the true inventor of the radio, many other breakthroughs developed the alternating current um, system linked in Westinghouse, which became the giant corporation AC with the concept of the world standard. The AC would be, could be sent with hundreds of miles along power lines. All right, four seven shows you're in in a large welding shop with more sophisticated power. You've uh, such a 300 amp Miller DC machine, which has four more bells and whistles than um, for you more bells and whistles than the home type unit. How AC alternates by um, by traveling with the wave of the alternating polarity down into the repeating cycle with the most electricity. You US alternate with the rate of 60 cycles per second. With which well, all the means for the arc welding and the left expense for the arc welding machines that have the AC only. The AC welder very good in producing le um, less welding splatter. The welding heavily plays with large electrodes required the less electricity to run. They usually have the less maintenance expense for the bigger machine. The tight this take of the same with the line current with which with the heavy voltage the low and and amperage reduced through the transformer low voltage high amperage current with the the only drawback with the AC and the Eric welding is the constant sw switching of the polarity to make the incidents consistent with the welding beat imperfections that you would never notice them by something that could be created with the only oil fuel field pipelines, high rise building framework, and the nuclear reactor. For the reason why it it most from professional arc welding of the DC was produced the most smoother weld that is most stable arc. There was wire selection, special, special electrode rather the DC type of the professional arc weld. The AC only the machines generally use the strictly joined various metal within the DC. Machines can also be used with a stainless steel and a hardened surface of industrial part and parts. In addition, the two current specific, um, specific type of the arc welders, um, there are also combination AC-DC machines, which have rectified uh, have a rectifier added to ba um, for the basic AC machine. Another factor separating large professional machines in, in terms of flexibility in the choice of the polarity option when they take torch and set up the DC on mode of operation and operation. Some of the machines that can't choose the, between the negative and positive polarity, um, um, depending on the type of the metal that is welding, the rod is used. And the most of DC welding is done with the reverse polarity, meaning the rod in this pot with the work of the potent pot clamp with the negative. The method keeps the rod very hot, makes the smooth weld, improves the out of the position of the work. Anything then that, then flat on the welding table that does not come. Um, this is not concerned with the AC machine that is covered with the nature of the current switching the polarity 60 times a second away. 
and many of the professional machines of the versatility power supplies can perform the arc welding, the MIG welding, in addition with the motorized wire feeding attachment, TIG welding, optional torch and food control illustration, food control, food control illustration. All right, this kind of equipment you will find with a professional welding and fabrication shop. Most of the shops that do don't um, perform arc welding and mu much arc welding using the power su uh, supply. Most of the TIG welding you can supply a separate machine with the must the wire feed. The requirements of the arc welding machine welding area. The professionals um, some is used in an industrial job or professional welding is usually an industrial job on the construction pipelines, etc. Not to confuse any with the further electrici electrical electricity, but the larger professional machine with the available to several type of the input, the most basic machine home to the shop that require with the 220 volt industrial units may um, set up to 440 volt um, volt more than they are. Or different phrases, the type of the current um, which have the most home views, uh, home homes is a single phase. The larger professional arc welders are made of three phase co configuration, simply made that they are three identical inputs with a phase 120 electrical degrees apart. The wave of these input overlap, the voltage never fell completely to the zero, making the smooth, uh, smoother welds made in industrial sh shop with the big motors with the last and mills. Another machine to run with the three-phase power with the smoother and cheaper to operate. The large equipment will not find the three-phase power at home. Some of the expensive equipment required to set up the building industrial and industrial three-phase power. 4-8. Many of the shops have the power source of the machine, but not only the power's welding work can be even set up within the tungsten and inerrant gas welding torch. Sometimes you can use the optional wire drive to form the metal inerrant gas welding. Four um four nine um contractors um use um contractors often in each engine driven in arc welder mounted with the truck bed and semi trailer beside with the power of the welder the gas engine there's also large generators run power tools and in remote workplaces. Rewiring an arc, rewiring for an arc welder, except with a few small household current machines that are capable of 100 amps and less than the most basic AC, AC welders require 220 volt in, input. Develop, depending on the present of the present, present wiring in your house, it may be an additional, require an additional expense of the requiring accommodated the welder factor. Take with the consideration true the right system is you to use some of the sometimes some homes already have the 220 volt output. Outlet hooking with an um, electrical coil with the dryer and tow the most common household appliance to run this voltage, but the outlet may ha not be where that you need to be well. If your washer or dryer is set up with the garbage, you already have the game and the wiring is not necessary. Likewise, if you plan not to do most of your welding in the kitchen, then you change case you're simplified. If you have to run a new circuit into and to into your and to into your house to put a 220 volt, you will need it and and when you when you need when where where you need it for your arc welder, put it on put it, put it on its own separate circuit with the 30 amp circuit breaker. This kind of current may be drawn um, when the welding of the thick material below with the standard 15 to 20 um, amp household breaker. I'll call a few electricians before you you buy and buy an air arc welder to um, tell them that the secret size of electrical box that you have that many apps and how many open spaces there are new circuits and how far the you know, 220 volt system and circuit breaker could have been running to get an outlet of proposed welding area. They should be able to give you a rough estimate rewind cost and you may, may cost much more than the welder itself may ultimately influence. What kind of welding machine you purchase, even if you do not exist in 220 volt, you can use the rudely surprised when fine the welder can be plugged. Um, uh, uh, can't be plugged in. At least, um, uh, even if you do not exist, if you don't exist 225 volt um, outlet, you can. You'll be rudely surprised when the welder when. The welder cannot be plugged in, at least there are not directly. The arrangement of the prongs on the welder power cable is slightly different than the layout of the typical 220 volt appliance plug. You can make a um, purchase on the, in the, in, in, in an adapter and have electrical insulation outlet box in your welding area with the matches and kind of plugs in your arc welder. Before plugging the new sticker, st new stick weld into your household 220 volt outlet with an adapter, you should have the system checked to be sure that the wire gauge and circuit breakers are up to the task in handling the welding machine. All right, four tone, four ten. Even if you don't have the 220 volt um, circuit in your shop, they're closed uh, for a closed dryer. You will find an outlet plug different with the 220 volt welder's plug. You will either have to rewire your outlet box to accept the welder's plug, put a hose held 220 volt butt plug on the welder's power cable, or use an adapter. 
The arc process, an electrical welding process that uses the flow of electricity to create the heat and the power of the flow and flow for the source of the electrode work with the program with the source of the machine that is the arc weld and consume the electrode of the rod, makes the connection with the create for the arc weld, the arc with the piece of the weld, the welding rod with the metal rod, rod coated with the hard flux material as the arc is created with the tip of the metal with the cause of the bolt, cause of the work base and the heat of the generator to be at 6,000 degrees Fahrenheit, more than the metal of the both parent metal and the filler rod, with simultaneously vaporizing the flux coating with the create a gas with the shield around the bead, protecting the Solidifying well the contamination gases in the air. See illustration. The flux actually re, um, re, resolidify the top of the bead and is hard coating with the flux slag. When you look at the completed bead, you'll see it done with the ceramic like material all over the bed. At this point, you, the, um, the weld does not look very impressive. When you remove the slag with a chipping hammer, a beautiful clean weld is revealed. Depending on the type of the rod and hamperage, there, um, there may be used some spatter and tiny beads of metal, but some are struck along the bead. Many of the other beads of it will come off with a stiff application wire brush and more stubborn ones can be removed uh, with them. Um, um. 411. Show the arc um, welding electrode with the rods, metal wire covered over the flux coating. The, coat metal, um, the metal glow with the wire initially contacts with the flow, will work with the initial arc with the pull back backs of the proper rod to work the distance. The vaporizing flux makes the shielding um, gas, with, um, but also deposits a layer of slag over the weld and adds performs the further protection for the welding contamination. All right, and this is that you see the uh, electrode covering the core of the wire, the shield gas, the arc area, the solidified slag, the weld, and the base metal. 412, when this is when you will see through the helmet and welding area, the arc is instantly um, bright, but the lens comes out down, down to just below the ground, below, below, around the arc itself. And you can uh, just about see, any, see where the shield gas and cloud forms the arc area. 413, the slag form the over the weld must be removed with a chipping hammer like this and most splatter and most spatter and slag residue residue can be cleaned up with a wire brush after clipping. 414, right on the at the right out of this speed you can see a dark gray slag coating with the covering of the slag. The portion on the at the left has been chipped off to reveal the brighter shiny weld. Or right, chipping hammer or uh, on, or chisel, chisel. Make the first path of the AC strike weld with the belt really easy, and although the really good path that required with considerable practice, the instruction book that comes from the welder specified with the right rod, the various materials, and amperage with the different thickness for the various metals. The rest of the technique, finding with the most capable position with electrode te holders, maintain with the proper the electric arc distance and travel speed, with making good joints. All right, safety consideration. When, with, an, every, with every method of welding, safety is a paramount consideration, but each of the other precautions that apply with the type of the equipment of the particular and all the forms of the electrical welding include arc welding, the high amperage electric, or with the primary hazard. All your capable and plugs lead and must be inspected regularly with any sign of the defects. Even dirt or paint, paint overspray with the connections can cause the arcing of the poor weld water over the course of good conductor of the electricity. Therefore, it should be avoided and work everything. Your clothing and equipment, especially the floor, must be kept away dry to avoid possibility of electrocution, electrical shock. Remember, soul the shoes that are amount recommended, but athletic shoes, not, not, not none leather or not. Most ex experts will tell um, tell you that not to wear um, metal jewelry such as watch bands, rings, bracelets, necklaces, belt buckles, or well, uh, one welding. Electrical welder power can comes in contact with the metal articles when you are wearing. They can become instantly hot to the point of the melting and cause electrical shock. On electrical welding methods, arc welding um, requires the most protection of your face, the body during the welding, the intensity of the arc of the producing the UV infrared radiation. Any skin um, exposed during the welding process can form, um, become burned in severity, ranging from the middle of sunburn to the serious burns, while symptoms are not apply the, until eight hours after the sub, sub exposure. Leave the top button um, button unbuttoned on your sh sh shirt and. Uh, sh uh, Leave the top of the unbuttoned on your shift, and so you'll have the nasty V-shaped um, burn on the next aft, and only the short after with the arc welding. Likewise, wear a fire-resistant long sleeve shirt. Keep it through your sleeve. The roll down at all times. Keep the she shirt just from well. Keep the shirt just for welding, and tear off the pockets if there are any. Keep over the. If they tear off the pockets if there aren't any. If they ha have any, keep them empty and buttoned. Any experienced welder, friends, or other ores were recently burned painfully with welding overheated with just a short shop on the, just a shop uh, shop on shirt. Hot beats better when red right in the shirt and pocket and burned into his chest. Without the pockets, then there was a chance that the bead will roll off the floor and rather than stay on the spot of your shirt. For this reason, your pants should be kept uncuffed and never tucked in into your boots. 
If you're going to do arc welding often, you recommend that they invest in some of the leather, save the clothing, life jacket, like jacket, the vest pulls on the sleeve that go with them, very regular shirt. Arc welding is prone to be spatter than other type of welding. These leather welders clothed in light, highly resistant arc spatter. Probably your most sensitive, fragile body part is both the welding dangerous and your eye. The, um, even the tiniest bit of spatter unprotected for the eyes can um, have truly long-lasting negative effect. They always um, wear a full cover that has a safety helmet with one welding, preferably leather hel um, have leather have lap at the bottom of the front of the pocket in your neck area, especially with the welding overhead the, like underneath the vehicle to wear the cloth backwards, veil back to the cover of the hair back of your neck. The helmet should be equipped with the proper safety lines for the type of the welding that you are drawing on the eye that could be received with exposure of UV light infrared rays in a very short time. Never you observe anyone else doing arc welding unless you are wearing proper eye protection. Make sure that they, when you are welding that there is no observing you where you could be hurt. Particular children watching too much arc will show watching too much arc will not show immediate effects, but later affected eyes will be sore and sensation almost like having lots of sand in your eyes. If you do not have an own, have your own welder, but want want to watch someone else work, get your own helmet to observe them through through thoroughly. If you do not, if you do have the well, if you do have the welder, you may want to keep a spare helmet around in case someone wants to observe you welding process process. All right, your eyes can permanently be damaged over the exposure of the arc rave. They are also protected with the working around the most shop equipment, such as the grinders, mills, dry, drills, and sanders. All equipment that may be involved with the welding project will keep it simple to pair with a good safety glass with around the shop. They will keep the kind of have the protection the way around the sides. After the welding, will also be and want to wear the safety glasses where chipping the slag of the welds with a little fragment for the break off the light glasses. Always keep the complete first aid kit with the accessible to work area in the, in the case of the accidents. Particular hazard with arc welding of the presence of the fume when the electrode is consumed with the flux of vapor after creating the shield gap, the protecting the weld with the contamination during the formation, depending on the most of the most depending on the metal being welded over the other gases may be released in the metal the metal is melted. Most welding glass are colored and odorless taste in air with there is no implying that they were they are harmless. And the common welding gas can be displaced oxygen whenever the breathing in the air contains the eighteen percent oxygen you may be experienced dizziness, even lose consciousness. For reading the arc welding or any welding process it should be performed only where the adequate ventilation in case of the arc welding there is the last chance of the shielding gas being blown away from the cause of the bad weld and if you find yourself welding on one spot too long in the confined area you can also hold or, or, or how, use household hand for a fan for somewhere where the work area maintains circulation. Our beginning arc welding. If you have already re read the previous chapter on gas welding, you will have learned practically um, practicing the mode that will help with great learning whether the form of the welding and air, including arc. And the chick arc welding is easier in some ways than the gas torch welding, more difficult than others. Practice more practice to put on your road good welding in any mo mode. What we what you will do different at the first about arc welding if you need on one hand electrode holder, electrode rod, or other than. Good ground clamp, which should be uh, should be clamped with the work piece with a steel weld, welding table to ride shield, then both sort of the pillar metal with the shield, shield grass, gassing, which are generated with flex core gap because they provide the um, have some of the grass and scrape the scrap and seal the seal handy on some of the 18 inch rod. There are a great many of the specialized um, rods, but one of the most common the E and the electro 6011. Um, the, which is one of the easier routes to have to start with to maintain the arc. Although the arc process that involves one and la one hand uh, tool, you may find that 14 inches long, 14 inch long rod, and put on your uh, hand much further distance from the weld than air the other than welding process. Once the end of the rod is bare of the flux coating from about from about its inch of the end of, the, of your electro holder. It's a good idea to practice the arc setup without turning on the welding machine. It's just um, situate yourself comfortably with the relation of the work. Practice with holding the electrode one and a quarter inch away from the work and adjust this joint and seam the air. The following the proposed thing, seam the slightly weaving the electrode type, the tip of the side of the side of the traveling along. This will give the feel as well required in the terms of the condition. Now, if you are ready to set the machine with the light right amperage for the thickness of the scrap of steel, see, so I say one quarter inch steel plate, perhaps it's lighter, but on the whole, on the hotter than the instruction recommended to make it easier to learn the starting the procedure. One drawback of the arc processing is getting the arc started. You can just flip down your helmet and let lens and stab the rod against the work. 
The starting procedure has been described as similar to striking a match in which you draw, draw the rod, tape of the crop to the rear, or rear of the plant, plan to start with the bead. Some of the point in scratch of the rod will monetarily contact the work and the arc will start, and but the rod must continue moving. Arc welding is essentially the process of creating a short circuit across the rod and work that can also be started with the momentary contact with the start of the two. One start with the short circuit that he for the arc around the weld, weld and ionize it to the point where the air conducts the electricity constitute the arc. Continue with the arc without or actually metal to the metal contact. As soon as the arc is started, the rod tip of the mat be pulled back to the suggested tip of the work at a distance. All the hit, all all the and all of this sounds ten, t- tedious and difficult, but you will pick up the technique over the first for a half hour of practice. If you touch the rod surface for more than a split second, it may stick firmly. In which case, the rod can get rod can get red hot for which long the length of the very short span of time the span of time. As soon as you feel the rod stick with the surface, squeeze the clamp and the electrode holder and release the rod when it is only one only way to stop the rod from melting. The hot rod will still st- stuck in your work. You can take it away and we'll take it off with some pliers. But if you but if it but when it's really when it's really hot, don't try slapping it off with your gloves. It it um it may burn your through your leather and let the let the rod cool uh, off and start in another rod out, uh, until you have mastered this re- arc starting process. When you're more experienced, you react re- react quickly enough to the stuck rod, but but then you can simply break the connection immediately by twisting the electro holder and rod side to side. Another method of arc st- um, st- starting followed by some of the welders tapping style with which can completely electrode the tip of the work and then to the start of the electrode, start of the article, not in the pressing action, the short, short and in and out of the jerk from the muscle can come into contact with the bottom of the tip, travel toward the work. Once you understand the starting power of the tip of the work, the the neck of the arc start, but you must pull, 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 pull the rod um, back off the second to bank the relatively long arc, about twice the thickness of the electrode you are using, a way inducing some of the preheat of the, into the metal, they immediately drop, drop the rod closer to the about one rod thickness away from the work. Keep the rod moving along with the seam of the move of the rod side to side slightly over this. You travel some of the welders use movement of like a series of tiny overlapping overs, others zigzag and even weaving patterns and sit and, and stay in one place too and stay in one place too long with the rod too close to the work and you might you'll melt a hole in your work. Also you pull the rod back too far, you can lose the process as you have started. On small seams and materials, you won't need to have the weave a rod much. When joining thickness of the, the joint, the use of the bead or bevel to the straight pad as is made along the bottom of the joint, followed by the one or more passes, the oscillation weaving and the spread bead circle, the large wide grab at the top of the bevel. All right, the rod, sh- um, 416, the electrode is usually held more than less than perpendicular welding surface to start with the arc of the laid back and to the continue of the bead. Some of the welders prefer forehand technique, others backhand, such as, the, as it's here. All right, the rod should be more than less vertical than the article is struck in tens- in- initially. When it can re- um, re- really pretty to metal, but it should be angled forward with an in direction of 20 to 30 degrees as you pass, m- make your pass. Hold your electrode holder with somewhat ahead of the puddle or rod 20 to 30 degrees from the vertical. Take, make it to make it the spirit straight at passing edge of the flat horizontal plate with, until the gate. Until they get the hang of the rod, running bead, the running of the straight bead with the rod puddle at the beginning, of the right the dam of the rod are uh, uh, using while well, arc welding is important. Remember the Nazi watch the arc, but rather focus on the puddle you are leaving behind. Shape the size of the crown of the puddle are the key to determine how that you are doing. When you um, have the travel speed amperage of the rod to work and distance correctly, you'll find out what why they used to call it AC or arc walled buzz box because you'll even very satisfy sound with steady crisping noise such as the baking and frying the sound that your welder makes. Well, um, the way the ba- bead lock looks and tells you much for the progress. If you have an arc gra- gra- gap too large, you'll have an even puddle. Puddling about a bead of the too wide, the sound will be uneven. The such as will have more than normal splatter. On the other hand, if you have the rod too dip too close, it may stick to the work, and the bead will be too will be high enough, to not very wide, and the, and the sounds be softer. On holding the parts to learn with the compared gas um, welding in the part of the wo- your, wo- your holding electric holder must continue to be brought closer to the work as the rod glo- gets closer, gets shorter. When, glass we- when gas welding in the torch stays at some distance from the welding, hand-eye coordination must be learned to involve the keeping the right distance from the work of the way the rod angle and the correct speed of the travel, compensating the shortening of the rod. Speaking, the electrode length of the rod will fairly shortly and best stop then start the re- new rod when the electrodes are too short. They extra heat and travel the electrode to holder with a glove hand. hand. 
Speed travel, you almost important the ride is to what work distance. If you travel too fast, the resulting bead will be in an area. You may not get 100% penetration. If you proceed too slow, you will end up getting a large bead. All right, 417, arc welding electrode holder. You're usually clamped like air, air fare, not just allow, allow the rod to be clamped at several different angles. Many arc welders prefer a style called the short stub, in which are the rod inserted with the handle and twisted and locked in place. To achieve the different angle with the short stub electrode holder, you must just bend the rod near the holder to the desired angle. But some of the situation when they have to reach the downside inside the weld, the rod can be bent straight out. All right, four to nineteen shows too much amper to be to sink into the um too far um work and leave catering 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 uncutter uncutting on the top. If the welding is see speed is too slow, the bead build up unnecessarily on the top. Show the incorrect incorrect adequate weld strength, incorrect correct and incorrect grinding, and the difficulty of time consuming. You may include the accepted heat of the workpiece after you put um, practice speed with the arc of work distance. The practice of the starting the beat of real world um, welding will encounter the machine of the sample stick for the complete, but you want to complete the weld to be look like look look continuous even if it wasn't. Stop the beat when you have to put the charge at the end. Change with the lecture instances. Just pull the rod back and quickly to the break of the arc. Anytime you have or stop you stop at the arc welding, you must chip the slag away from the place that you last stopped. Before continuing with the new rod, when you pick up the leg game with the new rod, start with the one and one and a half inch around or ahead of where uh, the last pool puddle will restrike your arc and proceed. The arc will melt originally with the last puddle to continue with the bead with any of the uh, apparent interruptions. This will take some of the practice and even some professional welded teams that look like they were um, applied continuously operating machine integrated with the stop and starts that were shooting to, uh, shooting types. All right, 420. And in the three packs of arc welding beads, their left hand bead it was too cold, and meaning that the not enough amperage. And the center bead was a weld is okay, and then the um, right thing is too much amperage increased spatter and too wide before the thickness of the material. 421 welding in large plates such as um, new metal is being done as John Deere dirt scoops requires the enter either multi pass welding using a large rod at a high amperage. The seam was done with a single pass of one quarter inch driver. I'm just checking out how many pages this is left. All right, 78. We're going to stop at type of joints.